so hi everyone welcome back here to the channel i just wanted to make a quick video to share with you guys some of the settings that i'm using on my new i3 installation here especially regarding scaling because this is a 4k monitor and as usual there are always some challenges when it comes to configuring high dpi displays so i thought i'm going to show you here what i did on my installation to get the scaling right here for my high dpi display now this is the project that i have on gitlab i uploaded already this project a couple of days ago and i shared the link to it in the community and if you want you can head over gitlab and you can find it there it's called main desktop i3 and the first file that I would like to show you is the X resources. So this is basically the file that I edited to give the DPI to my window manager, or better said to the screen. So the XFTP DPI, this is what actually gives the DPI to the scaling. So the normal value is 96, so it's a value of one, and 192 is a value of two. So everything is scaled double, basically. Now, XFT, Auto Hint, LCD Filter, Hint Style, and Hinting. These are just to make the look and feel a little bit better on the LCD. And we have also XFT Anti-Alias for the fonts to have better font rendering on the display. I also had it here a Rofi DPI because I'm using actually now Rofi as a launcher, as you can see here. And I wanted to make sure that this is also scaled twice. So the value is normally 96, but I added it to the X resources profile here with the value of 192. And as you can see here, it scales perfectly well also on my high DPI display. Now, next we have here in the list, the better lock screen RC. So better lock screen or multi lock screen depends really on what you want to use. If you have multiple displays, then definitely go for multi lock screen, which allows you to set different scaling for different displays. In my case though, because now I have only one display here, my second display actually died a few days after I installed i3. I have now a better lock screen here, and this is basically the configuration that you can copy when you install better lock screen from the AUR. You can copy over from the examples directory, and you can change here the parameters of the lock screen. Now, this is right now how it looks like for me, and you can change here, for example, the fonts and also the colors of when you type in the passwords. I didn't do it yet. I'm still using the default here, but I just wanted to show you how you can actually change the parameters of the better lock screening here. I just disabled the lock timeout because I have some other settings in the configuration file for i3, which I'm going to show you in a second. Now let's jump over there. So let's click config here. And this is my i3 configuration file. So I actually change constantly some little things here and there to make my experience on i3 a little bit better. The one that I wanted to actually share with you guys is that actually now I'm using Rofi and I use Rofi now with this command that you can see here. This command is basically using the theme Solarized and it's also showing the icon theme Papyrus, which is installed uh, by installing the Papyrus icon theme. And that's why I have icons showing up here on the left side when I open Rofi. The other things that I would like to show you here is actually also how I configure my windows. Since I need some windows to be floating and I need some windows to be a certain size. So I configured everything here. I also configured this parameter here because I noticed that sometimes some pop-up windows are actually opening up behind the main window. And by putting this command here, basically the pop-up windows appear always in front. So I don't get stuck if one window, for example, is not in floating mode. Something else that I would like to show you guys is actually my last commands here. So I edited here now my PyCom compositor as well. For that, I have also the conf here file. I will show you this in a second. And I have my key bindings here for the lock screen, which is mod shift X. And the effect that I gave to my photo is a dim effect. I have also these two commands here. So the first one basically is locking the screen automatically after three minutes if it's idle. And it's going to use the same command as above here. And after seven minutes of inactivity, basically my system is going to sleep with this command here. So I just put this just to save a little bit of energy if the computer is not in use for more than seven minutes. I have also scrot configured here to take my screenshots. And also I enabled here the toggle for the bar with mod M. As you can see, I can toggle the bar on top there if I don't need it when I'm working. So then I have the configuration file for Rofi. This is what you get when you install Rofi. You can copy it over to your home directory and change here the parameters the way you want to. 
and I have also here the Dunst RC. So Dunst, for those of you who don't know, basically a notification system, a very light notification system for Linux, which is going to actually open up here on the right corner with some notifications with when something is happening in the system. Like, for example, new music is playing, or for example, I have new mail coming in. In here, I chose actually different sizes. You can go in here and build it the way you want to. This is fairly simple and also quite easy to understand. I have also here my i3status.com file, which right now I'm not using because I'm using Bumblebee status, which you can find in the config file for i3. And as I said before, I have here my pycom.com file, where I set actually some settings for the shadows and the opacity of certain windows. Now you can go in here and play out yourself to see what suits you best. In my case though, I just changed a few things that regards the inactive windows, because I had inactive windows actually also transparent, which was a little bit bothering for me. So I set them in a way that when they are inactive, they are not transparent, because I actually need only transparency on the terminal. Now, other than that, this is all there is to it for my system. So if you want, you can go ahead and download the repository from GitLab and adjust it to your liking. This is what I'm using right now. But as I said, I'm changing every day a little bit constantly something in my configuration files to tune the experience. And since this is the first time I'm using actually Window Manager on my main machine, it's going to take me a little bit time to find out actually the best settings for me. But I will keep updating and, and you will find them also on GitLab. So the last thing I would like to show you actually what I forgot before is the dot profile file. So here is actually something that I found on the ArchWiki and it helps you out by scaling the window on a high DPI display. So here I have three variables that I found on the ArchWiki and we can go over to the browser here and you can see here why I put them in. So basically I have this one export Qt auto screen scale factor one. As it says here, since Qt 5.6, Qt 5 application can be instructed to honor screen DPI by setting this variable here. And that's why I added into my configuration there. I also had this one. So setting the GDK scale will scale the UI. However, it would not scale icons. If you're using a minimal window manager where you are setting the DPI via XFT DPI, which I did, GDK should scale perfectly fine with it, but it didn't always in my case. So in other cases, do the following. So I actually added these two parameters here to undo the scaling of the text and fractional scale also can be used as it says here. And also to scale UI elements by an integer factor of two. So by adding the DPI in the XFTP DPI on the X resources file, actually the interface scale correctly, but not everything actually was scaling correctly. So by adding these two lines here, now my experience here in i3 is actually very good on a high dpi display so let me go back here to the file and this is basically all i wanted to show you guys so you can try this out and if you have problems with high dpi let me know in the comments below how it's working for you and if you have also suggestions also let me know i'm always open to new ideas and if you have questions about the video let me know also in the comments below as usual i will try to answer you as soon as i can